three semicircles are arranged as shown if BD is 8, BC is to find the area of the shaded region. As you can see, for us to get the area of this shaded region, we we'll subtract the area of these two semicircles from the largest. So let's solve. So let's call the diameter X. Y BC they say is 2. And um, BD they say is 8. And we we'll add two auxiliary lines. Let's join A to D. We'll get something very unique there. A to D and C to D. So we've joined that. And from our test theorem, you can see that this is 90. Yes, because this is a circle, like half of a circle. So we can see that That angle ADC is 90 degrees, tails theorem. That's on that circle theorem. So that's the first thing. And this is 90 and this is 90. So what will come to our mind is, is, is the geometric mean of triangle. Yes, that we have three formula under that geometric mean of triangle like if you have this triangle such that this is 90 and this is 90 and we are giving maybe here as a b this is h maybe here is c d so the theorem the geometric mean states that for us to get h is the same as square root of a times b why for us to get c is square root of a times a plus b and finally for us to get d is the same as square root of b times a plus b so that's what we call geometric mean of triangle so that's what you are going to use so from here you can see that x is now 8 squared over 2 yes by what i just from here h here is 8 so square square both sides so it's 8 squared so we are looking for x so it's squared over 2 so based on geometric mean of triangle so that's it so this is 64 over 2 which is 32 so that's 32 So from here we can see that area we are looking for area shaded is now area of the big one which is half pi because because we know that area of a semicircle is the same as half of area of a circle so half pi the diameter is x plus 2 and x plus 2 is 34 so we have 34 over 2 which is 17 squared minus half pi the diameter of this semicircle is x which is 32 so half of that is 16 so 16 squared minus why the diameter of this is 2 so therefore the radius is 1 so 1 squared so as you can see there is pi over 2 pi over 2 pi over 2 factor pi over 2 so we're left with 17 squared minus 16 squared minus 1 squared so we can see that 17 this difference of 2 squared so we can write it as 17 plus 16. we know 17 plus 16 is 33 okay, so this is 33 times 17 minus 16 is 1 minus 1 so I use difference of two squares here which is 17 plus 16 times 17 minus 16 17 plus 16 is 33 why is 17 minus 16 is so I have 33 minus 1 is 32 finally 32 that's 33 minus 1 is 32 so 2 in 32 so we have 16 
pi so that's our answer it's a very nice and tricky question thank you